All right, Halos, welcome back. We're, today we're going to be doing some World's 2024 Pick'ems today. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Let's go in, into the crystal ball predictions here. Um, so it says, 20 World's prediction questions are available now. Make your selections right up until the start of Worlds on September 25, which I believe is when play-in starts. Make sure to lock in your picks before the window closes. The coin won't be here to help salvage any missed crystal ball opportunities. Check back after Worlds concludes to see how you scored and earn rewards based on your performance. Crystal ball points and rewards are separate from traditional pick'em. All right, and then I'm ready to make my picks. Let's jump into it. So uh, the first thing up here um, is the event picks. Uh, so what will be the duration of the longest single game at Worlds, which is worth 50 points? Um, or at least up to, I think it's just, I think it's just straight to 50 points. Uh, what will the duration of the longest single game at Worlds be? Uh, single game. I think they could go pretty long. I'm going to say 50 to 54. But it's very possible it could be this. I don't think it'll be this, but maybe. And then I think, honestly, we could have some crazy long game that even goes longer than 55 minutes. But we'll see. Um, I'm going to go right here, which is probably more of a safe option, to be honest. But either way, that's what that's what I'm going to guess here. Uh, it says, how many pentacles will there be at Worlds? Um, that's a hard question, honestly. I'm going to say... Hmm. I don't. I feel like there won't be many, but there might be a couple. Let's say two. I, I'm very tempted to go three plus because I think um, I think it's like you know pretty obvious that if if get three or more, it'd be be very likely. But I don't know because there could just be zero. You never really know. So I'm just gonna go with two for now. Um, I think I'll, I'll lock that in. Which Drake will be killed the most at Worlds? Uh, Oh shoot! What was the what was the one last year? <laughs> I don't remember. I think I predicted Cloud and it ended up, ended up being like Hextech or something. Um, I feel like Chemtech happens a lot. I'm gonna go with the Chemtech. I think here actually. Uh, all right. How many Baron Steels will there be at Worlds? Um, Baron Steels probably not many. I'm very tempted to go 0 to 2, but I'm going to go 3 to 5. I'll go 3 to 5. I think I think there's a good chance that we could get some a decent amount of parent steals. Uh, how many reverse sweeps will there be at Worlds out of 7 total best of 5s? Reverse sweeps? Um, to be honest, I think 0. But uh, I could be wrong about that. I could be wrong about that. I think it's going to be 0, though. Uh, who will be played in the most different, world, different roles at Worlds in terms of champions here? Uh... Who will be played in the most different roles? That's a good question. Let's see. So we have... Um, who do we have that play, that's played in a lot of different roles? Maybe Smolder for two. No, that wouldn't be enough. Brand for two. Um, let's see. This is going to be a hard one, actually. A very hard one. Cause, I mean, you could pick any champion in the game. Uh, Ziggs can go mid or, or bot as well. You don't really see him support though. Zero could go mid or bot. He could go. She could go top, I guess. They did hit her with some nerfs, I think. So I'm not sure how likely that is, but it's certainly a possibility. Um, I think I'll I'll pencil in Zeri here for a minute, and then we'll kind of think about it a little bit more. So let's say Zeri for now. Um, let's see. Who else do we have that goes multiple rules? Not a ton of champions, I would say. It's not like last year where you had like Maokai or Rel. I can go in like, you know, multiple, like a ton of different rules and stuff. Um, Skarner, no, but he could go mid or, mid or top. I guess if like Carry or someone weird pulls it out support, that'd be kind of funny. Um, Seraphine, I guess, could go multiple rules. I don't know if she's going to like Lindy be picked though. I feel like she isn't, but I don't. I haven't watched enough of uh, other regions, such as like LCK, LPL, stuff like that. Um, so it maybe, maybe Seraphine actually. I'm gonna stick with Zeri for now because I think she can go mid, top, and ADC pretty easily. Um, unless they, the pros just don't think she's good anymore after the nerfs. Um, Orn, Oriana, no. Maybe Nautilus if Whippo pulls it out, <laughs> but it would only go top in support, so it's only two. Uh, Nasus could go mid or top. 
technically he goes support, but I don't think we'll see it. I don't think he'll go jungle either, but he could. Um, Mordekaiser could go top room jungle. I think Zeri is still a pretty solid choice so far. Um, who else would go multiple lanes? Who else? Kenan goes top mostly. Kindred goes jungle. Karthus can sometimes go mid or, or bot, but I don't think we'll see him in any of the other rules. Or jungle, I guess, too, yeah. But I don't think we'll see him mid that much, to be honest. Cassante, no. Jarvan, Jax, Ivern. Just trying to think through all the champions. This might take a quick minute. Uh, we're getting we're getting close to being done with like looking at every champ. Uh, Garen can go mid or top. I mean, technically jungle, but like no one's gonna play him there. I've even seen his support, but that was years ago, and I don't think that's ever gonna happen in pro. Uh, at least not in the near future. Um, Fiora, Fizz, Galio might make a return. I don't know. I don't think we'll see him much though, if at all. Uh, Fiddle, Ezreal, Evelyn, no. Um. Yeah, I think Zeri is a pretty solid choice, to be honest. The more I look at it, I think she's the most likely to. Um, but at the same time, there's there's probably a champion I missed. But yeah, I'm gonna go gonna go with that Zeri for being the most played in the most different roles at Worlds. Uh, who will be picked the most during Champion Select at Worlds? Ooh, that's a good question. Picked, so not necessarily pick ban. It's just picked. What is the most popular cha champ right now? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I heard Rumble is actually pretty popular in top lane, but uh, it did get some nerfs, and also uh, I haven't really seen it over in the West very much, at least in, in North America, I guess, to be more specific. Picked the most during champ select. Cassante, maybe? Uh, yeah, top laners are probably a, a pretty decent choice. Or ADCs, I suppose. Cassante. Um, maybe Kaisa? Tristana, Corky? Maybe Corky? Do we think Corky's still going to be picked a lot? I don't know. I think she, he got enough nerfs that he won't be as much. But maybe I'm wrong. Hazir? Maybe Hazir. They might be banned a lot, though. I don't know. Corky. I think I feel like Cassante is a good, good idea. Picked the most. Ivern maybe. Ivern's pretty strong. I don't know how much the West, the East is playing it. Rather, is the only thing that I would say about that. But yeah, maybe. Um, let's try to think. I feel like Kais is pretty decent shout, but I don't really know. Um, and then Callista's probably a decent shout, but I feel like she'll be, if anything, she'll be banned a decent amount more than, than like picked all the time. But maybe. Um. Maybe Kindred. She got some buffs. I don't think she'll be picked that much, though. Maybe Lilia? She got nerfed, though, as well. Lulu. This is a hard, this is a hard choice. Ooh, maybe Miss Fortune, actually. She does get played quite a bit. Ooh. That's a decent idea. I don't know if she'll be picked more than Cassante, though. I feel like Cassante will be in almost every game, unless, unless we abandon him. Maybe not, though. Maybe Renekton. Maybe Renekton. Uh, I don't know. I feel like people play Cassante more than Renekton, though, no? Am I crazy? Uh, Shin Swain. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know to be honest with you guys. Um, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna stick with Cassante, but I think it's, it's possible it could be like Renekton. 
Um, it's hard to say, though, honestly. It's a really hard pick. Uh, who will be banned the most during champ select at Worlds? That is also a great question. I don't really know what they're banning in the East. Um, I, I vaguely know what they're banning in the, <laughs> in the West, but it kind of just depends. I don't really know, actually. Who's going to be banned a lot? Maybe Azir? Or Tristana. Is here Tristana? Who else would be possibly banned a lot? Jax, maybe? He just got some pretty good buffs. Maybe I'll go with Tristana. No, I don't think she'll be banned though. Never mind. Uh, maybe Nasus. He did get the nerfs on the E though, but I think he's still pretty. I think he works pretty much just as good as he did before though. Just like obviously his E's obviously very very nerfed, but I still think it's pretty strong. Nocturne maybe. Who else? Renekton, eh? Cinna? Are we banning Cinna a lot? I don't think so, but maybe. Smolder. Maybe Smolder. He got some nerfs, though. So I don't know if they feel like he's not that strong anymore or what. Um, who else would be possibly banned a ton? Yeah, I don't know. I think I think I'm gonna go with that one for now. The Azir. Uh, who will have the most total deaths at Worlds? Um, that's a great question. Probably a top laner or a jungler. <laughs> most total deaths. Um, I'm gonna say Renekton. Maybe no, maybe not. Support champion maybe. Like a Nautilus. I feel like Nautilus dies a lot. Maybe Leona, though. Well, I think I'm going to go with Nautilus for here, but honestly, I, I, it's kind of just a wild guess. I don't I don't have anything specific. Um, who will have the highest win rate at Worlds? Minimum of five games played. The highest win rate. Uh, that's a great question. What would win the most? Jax? Jax is pretty strong. Maybe Zyra? I don't know if she's really going to be picked much, like for the jungle mostly. Um, Viego? Probably not, but maybe? Maybe like Nasus? <laughs> That's a great question. Honestly, I'm kind of thinking just go in his ear because if he's banned a lot, um, the times that he does get through, he might just win. I don't know. Could be wrong. Brand, possibly. Uh, that's a great question, to be honest. Maybe Aurora? <laughs> um... I think I'm just going to go with Zier, because I'm not really sure about that one either. That's a, that's a hard guess, to be honest. Uh, all right, players. Who will play the most different warp champions at Worlds? Make a pick. Okay. The most different champions. Uh, where's Kyria? Probably him. <laughs> um, I don't know, but that's a, probably, that's a pretty good chat. Who plays a lot of different champions in general in the pro scene? I don't know. I mean, there's some people for sure, but like, hard, hard to say. Yeah, I think I'll just go with that, I think. Let's go with Karia. <laughs> uh, who will get the most kills in a single game at Worlds? Uh, most kills, that is a great question. I'm going to go Ben, maybe. 
Maybe Chovy. I don't think he gets that many kills done all the time. It's just a solid player. Um, yeah, I think I'll probably go Bin. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, where is he? Gotta be somewhere around here. Wait, hello? Did I miss him? Oh, so, yeah, I went right over him, didn't I? Wait, what? Where is he? Oh, BLG. I, yeah, I'm looking at the wrong team. What am I doing? Uh, P... Wait, what? Where are they? I must have missed them at the very top or something. Yep, there they are. Bin. All right. That's what I'm going to guess. Maybe Elk, though. I think I'll go Bin for now. Could be an ADC, though. Ooh. Yeah, it could be an ADC. Shoot. Maybe Elk. Most kills. Pays? You know what? I'm going to go Elk. I'm going to go Elk. Uh, who will have the highest KDA at Worlds? Let's go... Ooh, that's hard. Highest KDA. That's over all the games too, right? Or is it just like in a single game? Um, that's a good question as well. These are all great questions <laughs> that I'm just going to go ahead and guess on. Highest KDA... I mean, if we assume that uh, Jinji are the favorites, it's going to be have to be one of them, right? Let's go Chobi. <laughs> uh, who will get the most first blood kills at Worlds? Most first blood kills. Ooh, that's a great question. Because it's not necessarily like a j necessarily a jungler, because they might give the kill. The jungler might give the kill to. Uh, the ADC or mid. What is that? That's a cool picture. <laughs> They're holding stuff. All right. Anyways, um, f most first blood kills. I don't know. What are we thinking, guys? First blood kills the most in worlds. Um, shoot. I don't know to be honest. It's a great question. Maybe Canyon? <laughs> maybe Viper? No, probably not Viper, but maybe. Hard to say, to be honest. Um, I don't know, to be honest, guys. I'm just going to guess. Uh, let's, let's go with that. I'm going to go with Canyon. Uh, who will get at least one pentakill at Worlds? At least one pentakill. Well, I, I put the pentakills... Uh, where, where did I put that at, actually? I forgot. Oh, will there be a Worlds? Never mind. <laughs> I thought I picked a champion for a second. Um, who will get at least one pentakill? Probably an ADC. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, is our best guess, but um, I don't know, to be honest. Whoops. Um, at least one pentakill. It could be a mid laner. <laughs> a mid or a bot, probably. Maybe be able to, maybe Ben, though. <laughs> Imagine. Um... Maybe Jackie Love. Let's go Jackie Love. Yeah. All right. Uh, teams. Which team from a region with two seeds or less will advance through the furthest through worlds from a region with two seeds or less? Oh, okay. Um, probably PSG. I think they're looking pretty pretty good. They looked good at, at MSI at least, or at least decent. Uh, which team will get will win the shortest game duration at worlds? The shortest game duration will win. Okay. So someone that stomps pretty hard, basically. So probably BLG or, or GNG is our best guess, right? Unless T1 turn it on really hard. Um, I'm going to go... 
with Genji, I think. Uh, which team will have the most Baron Steals at Worlds? The most Baron Steals. Um... So this is probably going to be a team that is behind um, in the game and has to steal the Baron, right? So it's probably not going to be like one of the top dogs, um, you would assume at least. So um, maybe G2 or even... Who's good at Baron Steals? Maybe T1, actually, you know what? Maybe. But maybe not. Maybe PSG. Shoot, I don't know. This, this could be a lot of different teams. I'm going to go with PSG, actually. I think uh, probably in play-ins. We'll see, though. Uh, which team will win Worlds? Well, obviously, I think Gen G is going to win Worlds, but... Uh, BLG's got a nice little buff. They, they buff Jax for Ben, their top laner. Uh, which team will play the most different champions at Worlds? Uh, probably T1, but uh, it's a good question, honestly. There's a lot of teams that could play a lot of different stuff. But it would probably also be a, a team that goes pretty far, too. So maybe BLG? Maybe Genji, though. That's a great question. I'm going to go with Genji, though, but I, I could be wrong on that one. Either way, uh, that's going to be all the crystal ball picks for me. Uh, Play-in stage, so Worlds begins September 25 with play-ins. Um, eight teams will enter a uh, double elimination format, but only four teams will advance. So, choose four teams to advance to Swiss stage. So, bracket A and bracket B. We got bracket A first. Uh, I'm going to go, definitely go PSG. Um, I just don't know enough about these two teams, basically. Um... I also don't know enough about Mad Lions, to be honest, but uh, I think... Well, the v I heard the VCS is pretty good, though. But I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to say Mad Lions, probably. Uh, don't really know enough about these teams, but it's very possible that they could go. I think PSG is a pretty solid lock, unless they fell off a lot since... Uh, I've heard they've just been better, though. Um, but since MSI, I think they've been, they've been doing really good. Anyways, uh... Starting in bracket B, we have, I think, you know what, to be honest, I don't know if Hunted Thieves is going to get out. Um, I really hope they do, but I don't know, to be honest. Um, Alright, it says, oh, one to three teams may advance from each bracket. Interesting. Uh, starting the bracket B, I think... Gam will make it out because they're pretty popular and they they, they do do decently usually a lot of times but not always. Uh, I, I think R7 is definitely has a shot, and then I don't know this team to be honest. So I they are from the PCS though, which is the same place that PSG is at. So they could be really good. I don't really know. Um, and I think I'm just gonna go a little copium for NA cope. Uh, we're gonna I'm gonna say 100 thieves is gonna get out, but I think they could definitely fall here. But yeah, there we go. Uh, if it, if I get a correct pick for either of these, any of these, uh, I get plus 10 points, which means it's plus total total of plus 40 if I get them all right. But uh, yeah, that's going to be um, play-ins, and I think we're set to go. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys have any other different opinions, definitely let me know. Um, I'll check it out. And other than that, I think we're set to go. Thank you guys for watching once again, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.